fuck, right, 13 minutes late, but, but it's, it's happening. All right, so, look at this hair. Whew. Can I do like a comb over, maybe? I don't know, whatever. Um, I need to cut it. That's what I need to do. But anyway, how about we get into it? So, Mondays are proving to be a little bit hard. But also, um, can you hear me? Like, I don't have my mic set up. Maybe I'll do that. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> well, so yeah, anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, Monday is kind of, kind of tough. Um, I work all day and then um it's kind of hard to get home figure out what i'm doing and then um then get on here and then do all this so but i mean that's part of it i figured it would take a minute to to figure out but or i guess a few weeks rather than a minute but you know what i mean um so with that being said i'm not i'm not prepared for uh chapter two um i have an idea of what i'm gonna do so i'm actually gonna start that um wednesday i believe wednesday at 6 p.m um and i think i'm gonna try wednesdays from now on so we'll that should make it easier on me but anyway i know that it's super difficult for people to hop on live and all that Oh, excuse me. Um, so, I'm going to load up Photoshop while I just sit here and look cool with my hair. It's so, so long. Oh, crap. I got to plug in my external. So, I'm on a laptop. Um, and it's an older laptop. And I can't, not that I can't. But I can't run Photoshop without an external hard drive because the scratch disks, for whatever reason, always fill up no matter what on the actual laptop itself. No matter how much storage I have, no matter what. So, um, so I use an external. So give me just a second. I'm going to fire up Photoshop. Fire! Fire! Sorry. <clears throat> oh, there are reading machine specific preferences. What does that mean? They'll be reset the defaults. No! Oh, that's probably gonna suck. What are you doing, external? Here. Get out of that. Um, what? Oh boy. Growing pains. It's not even growing pains at this point, it's just getting started pains. Oh, oh, there we go. All right, as soon as this loads up, I'll uh, swap my screen over. Wow, yeah, damn. What is this? Did it update to the newest? No, it wouldn't have. Hmm. I'm going to open a file on my computer. Yeah, it must have updated because this isn't... Oh, well, it said it messed up all my preferences. So maybe maybe that's what they mean. Literally all of them. Um, all right. Desktop. Here we go. And then we got... 
artwork. I space art and work. That's weird. I wonder why I did that. Shirts. Final. Man, I did this super weird. I'm not the best at organizing my files and stuff. Um, well, let me get this. I'm decent at organizing my files, but it's like naming them racing brooms. Um, PNG. Do I not have a... Yeah, okay, there we go. PSD. So, um, here we go. I'm not really the best at Illustrator. Like, I'm not, I'm not really that great at uh, drawing or any of that. I think I've said that a couple of times so far on these streams. Um, but here, let's just let's swap to that. Um, where's my, here. Oh, I forgot to plug in my TV. That's what's missing. Here we go. I was like, why can't I see the uh, stream here? Um, let's do input. There we go. All right. Hold on just a second. Let me get back to this so I can... Nope. All right. What we got? PlayStation. I don't want that on. Need to change that to two, I believe. No, back to two, I believe. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, now we're gonna scroll this up. There we go. All right, so this is actually the shirt I'm wearing right now. And <clears throat> Okay, so this will work. Um, I've got... All right, now I can see the chat. If there ever is a chat, we're good to go. All right. Um, so what I did was this book is relatively recent. Um, the past few months, it just came out and it's it's funny because I um, had to go to the library, which is kind of funny, but I had to go to the library and um, get a few books and look at some reference material. I actually looked, scoured the movies to figure out like, and I read um, Quidditch Through the Ages, which I actually have. Um, this guy, the big one, which shows you pictures. Um, but what I learned was that there wasn't a set, like if you look, there wasn't really a set. Um, I don't even know if you can see this. Um, like, it just shows you kind of team names and stuff. And then when we go back to... Now, where is it at? Shoot. You would think I know which chapter it is. I read this book so many times. Um, here. So, they kind of look a little funky. And they're, and they're just kind of sketches and stuff. And so, I sort of looked at that. Um, but, like... So I picked the Comet 260 because that was the more popular. Um, but look at the 180. Like, the 180 is totally different than the 260 that I picked. Um, what else did I put on here? Clean Sweep. The Queen Sleep is just a straight, but you can't tell which kind of... It was just... Anyway, it was kind of hard. Um, so, then this book came out. Um... Basically, what I'm trying to say was, with this, as I, I made it all up. With this, I made it all up. Um, 
sort of, because if you look at a lot of the um, the Nimbus and the Firebolt, those two um, were a little, for, were for the most part, on track. The only thing I missed with the Firebolt is the bottom here needs to not come down, and then the top of it has ruins and stuff on there, which um, actually... I thought I already created one. I must not have saved it. Um, well, I don't know. Now I'm all over the place. So let me go back to this just for a second while I figure this out. <clears throat> so, um, but anyway, I started working on the ruins and and such. I'm almost positive I did that in Photoshop because what I like to do is I like to create things in Photoshop and then um, place them into Illustrator and then outline them then and change them into a vector graphic that way versus drawing them out as vector graphics in the first place. And the reason I do that is because I am not very skilled with Illustrator and I don't really have any interest in learning so I don't and I've developed a really quick really mm, I guess it's simple yeah simple way for me to work around um, not being that great at Illustrator so let's see winter racing Hmm. What is this? Can I see if it shows up? It wouldn't have been that either. Is it the AI? That's backwards. What is this? Nope, it's not that either. Apparently, I did not save it. Maybe it's not under shirts. Canvas shirts? See, and that was another thing I messed up on, honestly. I'm not super pumped about that. Canvas. <gasps> That's the ticket. Is this the one? Maybe it is. Will it give me a preview? Yep. Sweet. Okay. Open. Why would I put it on our canvas? See, I need to I need to switch that around. But anyway. We're going to open this up. Got racing brooms. Don't save. Okay. So let me show you what I've got here. Main camera. There we go. Alright. So this, and I'll show you. Let's see if I can figure it out in this book here. Um, this book is really cool if you're into brooms. Uh which is kind of silly, but here is Harry's Firebolt. And if you'll notice, my Firebolt here sorta, I mean, obviously it's different, but I changed this text, or this um, pattern here to more mimic this book. Um, I'm keeping everything else. But I also, let me show you, um, here I added ruins, so I don't know if you can see that, but that's what I added there. Um, so I actually like that quite a bit, um, quite a bit more, so let me show you again more of the reference um, but also show you okay so there so the firebolt is actually pretty rough underneath look at, look at all the like the underbelly underside where the heck is it uh, underside is like exposed beat up wood um so that was my reference and um but since 
since uh, they're all different. Let's see if I got crumbs. I know, I know that was in here somewhere. Um, let me see if it's in the uh, index. Um, I've been collecting books actually, um, which I'm not a I'm not a material person um, at all. Like I'm pretty pretty uh, minimalistic. Um, like I have a handful of shirts and most of them are the same exact shirt. Um, it's actually this shirt, but just plain. <laughs> um, so here, this actually shows you ruins. Ruins? Ruins? I keep saying ruins. Um, ruins. Oh, there they are. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah. That are on there. I kind of give you a little story about them. Uh, the room choices were provided by the art department, so doesn't really explain anything. Where's the index? Let's see. I forgot I was doing that. Um, introduction. Brooms, brooms, brooms. Quidditch uniform, sport of Quidditch, professional Quidditch. The forty or four hundred twenty-second. All right, eighty-one. Oh, that would have been. Uh, taking me a little bit to get to. Here we go. Let's see. Let's see if Crumb's broom. Yeah. So uh, Crumb also had a firebolt. And look at his. His is actually the color. That's red. All red. Smooth. So it's like. And then even his um, his feet. Like. His. Uh, what do you call that? Uh, man, I am spacing it. Wherever you put your feet, wherever it's called, um, is different too than Harry's. So, um, and they're both firebolts, which is interesting to me because, um, let me double check to see if I'm right there. Oh, no, they're, they're pretty Pretty similar, to be honest. Crumbs is just a different color. And Harry's is angled just a tiny bit more. But they both have, and mine, they they both have the bigger um, clamps around the bristles. And mine does not have, it only has like one bigger one. And um, a really thin one. So, um... But anywho, <laughs> that was uh, my inspiration there. Uh, so, there we go. But what I wanted to do, and why I wanted to um, adjust this, which I didn't realize I had already done so much of, is that I'm actually going to, this ripped, um, it was my fault, and I like um, self advertising I guess like I would I'm again minimal but if I'm wearing something or if I'm doing something it's going to be my own my own stuff it's not going to be Nike or like a big brand thing like I don't want to not that I don't want to support them but I don't want to support them I'd rather like if I'm wearing a logo it's going to be mine if that makes sense so that's what I do, and that's why I wanted to, not that I can't just sew that up, but I thought if I'm going to, um, I might as well, like, redo this to add the room, runes on there, and I'll probably kind of mess up the bottom here, too, and I'll show you what I mean by place it into Illustrator and all that as well, um, when I get there. So... There we go. Oh yeah, look at that. That is the behind the scenes ugliness of that. Um, and I don't know anything about runes, and I figured it's not that deep, so I just kind of made some some markings on the on the top of the uh, 
of the firebolt here. Um, so that's that's all that is. Uh, let's see. The bottom. Did I? Of course I didn't. That's that's it. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the pen tool and I'm gonna start chopping up the bottom here. I don't really have any rhyme or reason. Um, let me back that up. I'm just making random stuff here. Not exactly sure if this is the way I want it to look, but we'll see. Just thought it would be a little a little choppy at the bottom. And I'm gonna make a selection and then instead of delete it just in case it looks like crap, I'm going to put a mask on it. Good thing I put a mask on it. Oh, wait, hold on. Mm, yeah, that's weird. Um, so I'm going to do the same mask, actually. Can I copy the mask? Here. I'm going to do the same mask and put it over that. Ah, it's a little weirder. Um, but then you get the, then you get the point. Yeah, so I'm going to go back to the Harry Potter Firebolt. Um, Ron Weasley. Yeah, that'll work. And it's, yeah. Yeah, interesting. Cool. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to keep it like that then. It's wild that the firebolt would be so exposed if it's really like supposed to be the fastest and quickest. Like you would think that it would be really like, f you know, like smooth and fine tuned and 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 all that. But like Chrome's, Chrome's is super smooth and fine tuned and whatever. Um, but you know. Okay, another thing. So I have the name here, but what if I brought in um, the logo and what do we have here? Um, no. This isn't a good one. This is going to be too small. I believe. No, that might be perfect. So I want to kind of, but if you look at the shirt, it's just legible anyway. And I don't want to make it any, any crazier. And honestly, this, the way this logo is, the word mark, I really want to keep it that way. Or line it up across, like you see here. So I either want to keep it like this, or like this, the more like stacked. Um, so to do this with it, don't think I would like it as much. So... I'm going to go ahead and hide that. I'm going to keep it on here, but I'm definitely going to drag it down. Um, and another thing I could do, which doesn't really matter to me too much, the shooting star one, the only reason 
is because of this reference. Um, or actually the other book. The other book was the, the reference that I was talking about. It looked more like a, a spark at the end. like a um, Because I don't think anybody else rode Shooting Star. Shooting Stars were older. So I think Ron... What did he end up writing? Comet? Mm. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, the Hogwarts, everybody had a clean sweep. Uh, I don't remember though. So, but if you look in the movie, the clean sweeps are more gray or more brown. Um, I think Tonks had a Comet 260 though. And I know that if you look in Order of the Phoenix, when they're lined up out front with Moody and the rest, she's like, Don't call me Nymphadora. She's holding a Comet 260 and she's got a little crook, like a little divot at the at the top. Um Like I said, I did some research into this, and while I don't remember all of it, um, I bet it's, if it's in the order, it'd be towards the end. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah, Moody's Broom is just on another level. I thought about putting that in here, but then I realized that that just would have been silly. Um, because it's one, it's not a flagship. I wanted to get the flagships of um, the most popular brands. Um, you don't have the Tender Blast or um, some of the older ones, but um, like these are the, the most common flagship racing brooms, which I'm not sure why they call them racing brooms when they're basically Quidditch brooms. Um, but whatever. Because uh, nobody really raced them. I mean, in Quidditch Through the Ages, they talk about a um, uh, race at one point where, like, you know, it's it's thousand miles away and like um, you know people barely survived it um mongrel arrival of the golden snitch so it's been well before that the game uh yo here we go not stun bombs scottish Oh, stick stock, Sweden, annual broom race of Sweden, here we go, 10th century, Flyers race, oof, I'm not even going to try to name those cities, I'm assuming cities, slightly over 300 miles, the course runs straight through a dragon reservation, um, and it's still an event that goes on, and, um, they cheer the starters and then apparate to the next city to congratulate the survivors. Um, so yeah, there you go. 300 mile broom race. But that's it. Like That's the only mention of a broom race for uh, against all the other um, broom sports. So it's interesting that they would call them racing brooms, but Again, I don't think it's that deep. Um, so, yep, that's it. That's it on that part. What else is there? What's that one? The Quidditch Through the Ages. So, I honestly didn't even reference this one. Um, so, I'm not entirely sure what is in these books here. I didn't even think about this little guy because there's not really a picture book 
Yeah, that's probably... Maybe I did look at it and realized that there's no pictures. Um, other than, like, that apparently is a golden snidget, so... Um, or, sorry. Uh, yeah, anyway. Who wrote that? Kennel, Kennelworthy Wisp. That's right. Beetle the Bard. Oh, I'm getting sidetracked. Let's put that back. Um. Yeah. Anyway. So. Clean Sweep 11. Um. But yeah, let's let's take a quick look. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Um, Tonks, Order of the Phoenix. Uh, oh, it's right after that. Um, shoot. Right after that, literally right after that. Here you go. Check this out. Um, oh boy. Oh goodness. Here. So we'll have. Oh, here. This one's probably going to be better. Nope. That's just a cropped version of that. Dang it. So, wow, tiny. All right. Ooh, you can't tell. <clears throat> Jeez. Really? Okay. Oh, man, it's a terrible view. But you can kind of tell here, there's a little notch right below where her, like, like streamers or whatever it is. But look at Moody's ridiculousness that he rides on. What do you even, what, why would, that's not inconspicuous. The whole point, if you read Quidditch Through the Ages, of a broom as being the major mode of transportation was because it was in all the houses and it looks like a broom. But I guess, like, look at these things. Look at Kingsley's. Good grief. Look at that. That is a heck of a lot of twigs. Huh. I'm not even sure. I don't remember who these two are. This is Elphius Doge, I believe. And then I'm not sure who that is. Anyway, doesn't matter. But anyway, that's where I got, and I'm pretty positive she wrote a clean sweep. So that was the only thing I had to reference. And to be honest, again, I just made it up. So this is what I came up with, which doesn't really look, I didn't even put any uh, feet, like feet holder thingies on there. Interesting. And the Nimbus, those are way over here. So, it's interesting that I wouldn't have put feet holder things. I should probably do that. And I should probably stop calling them feet holder things. Hmm. Interesting. So, I wonder how I want to do that. Um, and I only use the same three colors. Four colors? Four colors for all the brooms. Um, just to make it easier, like I, I had ideas of making it like a stencil, like a spray, spray paint stencil. Um, and the same thing with the night bus picture, it was the same idea. I used the same kind of philosophy, uh, just a couple different, um, 
colors and that's it so we're going to go back up to here and i'm going to just take this and i'm literally just going to copy and paste it uh -huh. this is what i probably normally do anywho anyway and then I would turn it into a smart object so it doesn't get all blurry when I do this And then another thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take that. I'm probably going to grab this dark here. And I'm going to grab now. Yeah, I'm going to do that. And then literally, and okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So rasterize it. That way you can. Um, so basically, I don't know, so you don't, um, what would it be? It would be more like, gosh, guys, I'm having trouble thinking. Um, so you don't do any destructive editing. You turn it into a smart prod, uh, object. Um... ish because obviously there's no like quick undos once i once i do this and then start editing it um once i manipulate this warp it and start editing it again there's no turning back but um um anyway so don't stress too much that looks ugly, guys. Um, over like how this is uh, pretty rough. Don't stress over that because we're going to throw it into Illustrator. And um, if you really um, were, were worried about it, which you shouldn't be, but I believe, nope, yep, okay. Um, you can just do one of these and it should no wow that probably looks worse <clears throat> anyway I don't mess with it because I just put it in Illustrator afterwards anyway so what I'm gonna do now is take another layer here and then Kind of do one of those, which looks terrible, I know. And then mask it. Mm. No, not not delete. And change it to black because it's a mask. And then I'm just kind of painting over the dark area there. And I'll change the opacity back up. And that should do it, I think.
Cool. I'm gonna duplicate. Oh shit. Nope. And I'm gonna duplicate this one. Free transform. Negative 100%. So it flip flops. And then. I'm going to start moving this layer to. What was that one? A shooting star. This one's Comet. 260. I'll put that right on top of Comet. The other one was on top of Shooting Star. So, where's that? Yep. Okay. Let me see that was Shooting Star. Shooting Star. So I'll put that there. And this isn't for any real reason because as long as it's on top of this layer, then it will show up. But at least I'll know, actually I'm going to put it under it, that way I'll know this is shooting star layer, this comet, and what I could do to help me out even more, whoops, is change this comet to 60, and then this will be shooting start um there uh, yep and then which i know it, it's it's kind of wonky because i could just flatten all the layers after i'm done making but that's the whole thing about all this is that there's a million different ways to do anything and whatever makes sense to you, whatever works for your workflow, um, do it that way. So this, I'm gonna have to smart object and then warp it and move it. Oh wow, that looks terrible. Here we go. I wonder if I can make it fatter. Yeah, look at that. That just looks crazy. That's not doing anything. Um, this should make that a little bit smaller. Boy, that is wild looking. Mm -hmm. So, definitely going to rasterize that and then kind of draw it in better because that just looks really weird right here. And again, for this as well, you don't need it to be perfect because you're going to take it into Illustrator and clean it up. So I'm actually going to go destructive here. I just inspired myself. Whoa, no, see, that's why you don't go destructive. And you slip up like that. Now you can't, now you can't get rid of that without redrawing it or restarting over on the delete. Whereas if you do a mask and let's say you went all the way, you're like, oh no, what do I do? Change the color. And you just put it right back. So white on a mask means reveal. Black is hide. So, and then X is the hotkey for it. So then you can hit it back and forth. Get it just right. Real quick. And that's all you need to do. 
So probably go through the rest and do it that way. Especially this, why is there a hump? I don't know why there's a hump. That's going away. Yeah, super weird, huh? Um, and then just to draw again, you click back here. So this is the mask, that's the regular layer. And you'll also see these colors change black and white and then the color palette that you were using and the same thing goes x swaps and oh man um there we go okay but I want to change the colors up a little bit more because I don't want it to look like, you know, the same colors as the other. Um, and the same pattern, I guess, too, because that just looks weird. And it'll look like I duplicated it instead of drew it, which, I mean, I did, but I don't want it to look like that. And since I masked it, oops, I was just about to talk crap. But since I masked it, I don't have to be super perfect there. Um, and I'll just click back on that mask layer, hit that X, and then hide that little tiny bit there too. Um, and then again, like I'm not really, I'm not really sure why I'm doing it this way, but. As far as the uh, um, color palette and stuff, so there you go. I want to make this where it attaches make more sense or look better. I guess I'm going to attach it here. Does it still stay? Yeah, it stays out of the. And I'm going to go back here, take that, and I'm going to line it up. I think we'll see. We'll see if it doesn't look terrible. Make my book fill. Um, yeah, it might look dumb, actually. So. Mm. That seems to make sense. That's where the rest of them are. Okay, cool. Now I'm actually going to take the Firebolt one this time. Um, is that the Comet? Yes, okay. Comet, Shooting Star, and the Firebolt. Is that... Yeah, that's the one I took last time. I just adjusted it pretty darn good. See, I fooled myself. Create a clipping mask. I need a smart object. All right. Um, edit, transform, warp.
cool. Um, I'm gonna go ahead to rasterize. And what I want to do is match this color and paint that into here. Let me zoom in. Um, so one thing you could do that is a little quick tip instead of trying to get that just right, is go in there and then delete it. those layers and now it's all back on the one um, so yep and Those are too close, huh? Yeah. So I think I'm going to take out the first of all change the layer up to the clean sweep. Actually, no, I'm not going to convert it. I'm going to delete part of this. Oh, let me mask it, actually. And then, so this, this is pretty much the way I, I work. Um, so, there's not a ton different than what I normally do here. What if I did something like this? No, that looks weird. Um, let's do like a puppet warp this time. What? Good night. Bounding triangle. Empty. Oh. Here. Let's merge all that. Edit. Puppet warp. The good thing about a puppet warp is you can tap one to keep that stable and then tap here to make another anchor point and then you can literally move it wherever and the one anchor point stays but what I want to do is I want to add an anchor point here and then maybe here and then here spread that part and kind of do one of these, but then smooth that out, you know what I mean? So it kind of just arches a little bit. And then the more you put, the more it's going to like zigzag ish. Um, but now it's more just like. Let's apply that 
Yep. So that's the that's the idea there. Um, another thing I want to do is apply another mask. Make sure black is on, and then mask this guy. Again, doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to take it into Illustrator, and so that's that one. I'm going to go ahead and save that. And this should probably take a second. Not too bad. And drink some water. Now. Here's, here's the secret sauce that I like to do. I'm going to remove the background and then save this as a PNG. But I'm going to export it as a PNG. But I'm going to do export as so I can adjust the settings. Um. My computer's working overtime. Streaming while working on it, it's kind of rough for it. Oh, excuse me. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna do transparency, 500, blah, 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 blah. Export. And it's going to give me a location. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to. We're going to go to Unique. I'm going to go to Artwork. And then instead of putting it in this specific thing, I'm going to make a new folder and name it. Um, flagship racing brooms. So, get rid of that canvas thing. That's weird. Let's do, well, yeah, let's do five just because that's the. To call the generation, I guess. Um, so every time I save, and I save it like every I don't know half hour or something of work, I'll do zero zero one as the original, and then zero zero two as the next, just in case like I do some editing where I want to go back and grab a version of something and put it into my newest, which I've done a few times. I bought myself a four terabyte hard drive for that reason. So I have several versions. Um, that way I can go back and grab a specific time or whatever. Like if I did some destructive editing on something and I, and I found out later that I needed to not do that, then I can go back and grab that specific element from a couple of versions ago and import it or drag it over into my newest um, version of the file and then just kind of rewrite, if you will, that part of it. Um, anyway, that's that. It's saved. I'm going to go ahead and quit Photoshop. Um, yeah. 
even though I already saved it, but we're good. I'm just going to save it over that little part because um, I know where it's at now. So, um, get out of that too. So I'm going to go back. Actually, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to open up Illustrator. It did. It did update to the 21. Hmm. Wonder why it did that. Because my computer was having trouble running that the newest version of Illustrator uh, Photoshop. So that's okay. All right, I'm gonna be done here in just a minute, but I wanted to show you this before I get off here. It's been an hour now, 7:15. Um, but I started late, so. Oof. Yeah, computer, take your time. Man, I don't know if that comes through on the uh, microphone, but... My fan is blowing big time. My desktop's a mess. I don't usually have stuff on my desktop. Okay, Illustrator, here we go. Kinda tired. <clears throat> This open real quick. Nope. Um. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create new, do not open it, create a new one, and make it giant. Actually, it doesn't have to be giant, but I make it big. 300 dpi. Um, Okay, so now that we're here, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to File, Place. Well, this is important, otherwise it won't work. I'm not 100% sure why. I Googled it, watched a YouTube video. This is what you gotta do. Um, so I'm gonna go back to that spot. Um, nope, I did not save it there, see? Told myself, let's see, flagship racing brooms. I'm going to place this PNG and you'll see it'll come up with like a little, yep. And then I'm just gonna click anywhere because it doesn't matter. And kind of move it into the middle. So now it's placed and you'll see this big giant box. You can't really do anything with it. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna come over here, go to image trace. Um, I think it's also somewhere in the edit menu maybe. I'm not 100% sure, but um, if it's not over here, you're going to get a window and then, um, man, I'm not, this is why I'm not an educator. I don't want you guys to learn from me. I just want to show you what I do. So anyway, um, image trace, boom. And then you're just going to pick like a default and then it's going to pick, uh oh. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Um, default tracing may take forever. You're gonna hit okay. Then it's gonna do all these like little things here. Wow, that looks terrible. All right. Um, so how about I just do 16 colors and see what happens? Even though there's only four, but I'll do as many as possible just to see. 
This is definitely going to take a lot longer. I should have done the lower version. What is it? Six colors or something? Let's go and do that. Stop that. And we're going to do six colors. Yeah, much faster. Or it was. Okay. Water break. Okay, so now it's traced. Doesn't look any different, I know. But what you're gonna do now is in the same little quick actions panel, hit expand. And that's going to add anchor points to every single line on every single color, every single corner. And there it is. Now, this is, this is why I said it didn't matter, like what it ended up looking like. Um, when you filled in the colors and all the rest is because let me get out of here because it smooths everything out look how smooth everything is now it's all one it's all one path um the actually i might leave that i'm not sure yet but this kind of looks weird so i might need to clean that up a bit um, but I was going to clean that up anyway, so um, again, you know, I'm not the best with Illustrator, so take this however you want, but there's a smooth tool somewhere around in here. What the heck's a shaper? There it is. Um, wait. So I'm going to click this shape here. Nope, that's not the one I wanted to do. I want to do this. Yeah, let me get all these paths. Can I do it? Yep. Take that smooth tool and kind of drag along and smooth that out. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. And I want to use this picker thing, selection tool, versus just the regular selection tool, direct select tool. Um, again, not sure why. I just know that that's what you need. And then... And then it smooths it out. Um, to be honest, I don't really like that sitting in the middle like that. It makes no sense, does it? So, um, what is this? Is there white everywhere? Oh, there was. All right, object, select, same, fill in stroke. It'll find all the white everywhere. Delete it all. We don't want any of it. Um, I'm going to grab an anchor point. I'm going to drag it all the way over here. I'm going to drag this anchor point and drag it all the way over here. I'm going to drag that one all the way over here. What the heck? Kind of looks ugly, doesn't it? Oh, that's not, that was a handle, not an anchor point. Well, here. There. Yuck. Smooth that. Shoot, it's usually better. All right. best part about the Harry Potter stuff is that none of it is lined up. None of it looks like clean, I suppose. Um, now I'm definitely going to use the text from the other file. So here's what I'm going to do. 
I'm going to take click and drag using your direct select the what the lighter one the, I guess filled in make sure all your anchor points and then just delete it because I don't want any of it or you can just hold on no 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 yeah there you go shoot I knew that was gonna happen I mean, I really didn't know, but I had a feeling. Ooh, ooh. So we'll see, I'll show you again. Remember how this was like all fuzzy and weird? Not anymore. We still have all that texture down here, which is perfect. All that looks smooth. All that looks smooth, although I think Let me see. Yep, okay. That looks smooth. And that looks smooth. So, what we're going to do now file. Yeah. Come on now. File, save as. I'm going to save it as another PNG, which means I need to export, not save. Export. Export as PNG right here. Flagship Racing. So I'm going to tap that and then I'm going to do uh, it was totally unnecessary to name it Illustrator to be honest. I probably could have just done six. I should have done six. What are you doing, beach ball? Ah, oh, it makes me nervous. Shoot. I really hope this works. Oh, unknown error. What the heck? I'm just trying to save it as a PNG. Maybe I should have done 06. I mean, that was the issue here. I mean, I know it's not, but maybe it'll work now. Alright. Oh, shoot. That's not good. I should just be able to drag and drop it into Photoshop from Illustrator. So if this doesn't work, that's what I'm going to do.
Jeez. Hmm. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna do a whole command A. Grab it. Oh, but I don't want Photoshop open because it kills my computer to have both of them open. We're gonna try. Man. I think what I realized is I need a better computer. Deliver to this address. Uh, I'm trying to order something on Amazon too. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go back into this. And the goal is to just drag over the illustrator image. Oh, shoot. A. Oh. <gasps> Look at that. Flipping worked. Okay, cool. Now I just need to line it up. So not quite the same size, not even close over here. Man, I was really thinking that it would just be the same exact size as it was. Dang, really? Looked good though. There. Dang it. There. Dang it. Now, don't get me wrong, this actually isn't extremely important that I get this exactly right, but I want to do it anyway. Ooh, maybe not exactly, but it's pretty darn close, but I'm not going to use the underlying layer anyway, so then I'm going to take this and get rid of that oh and get rid of that and that yep okay perfect now I'm going to put in that to 100. And now that's the final image. You put that back on for aesthetics. Here you go. All that work. And I, it, it doesn't really look too crazy different. Shoot. Now I kind of wish. That that was a noticeable. Oh man. Like a noticeable footrest, I 
think I figured out the name. Oh, wow, that's a totally different color there, though. When the heck did that happen? Alright. Um, we're doing that. Doing it live. So I want it to be sort of like, yeah, I think that would be way better. Okay, that's what we're doing then. Goodness. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna kind of cheat, extra cheat though. So let's see if I can make this work. Um, I'm going to change the levels. I'm going to make it completely black. Completely. Okay. Yep. And then. Going to adjust. Uh, I didn't really mean to do the curves, but I think it should work anyway. Yep. Uh, add some color. Any color doesn't matter. Come on now. There you go. Yep. Okay. And I'm going to take this. And actually go to adjustments and then match the color. But first, make a new layer. And I'm going to pick the dark. Yeah, yeah. And then fill that in there. Layer 15. All right, where was I at? This one? Yep. Image. Adjustments. Match. I'm going to use this source. And I'm going to get a layer 15. Which was here. And that should pick that exact color. Perfect. There you go. That's how you take care of that. Um, and since I'm kind of going to cheat with this just a tiny bit. I've got that. Um, wait a minute. Is that... Sheesh. Glad I don't claim to be a, a freaking illustrator. Good grief. Kind of embarrassed to show you guys how I do this stuff now. It just looks cool when it's done. Um, 
anybody actually watches all this, but which I doubt. Just in case, I want you to know. Don't judge me on how it's done. And then let me just go over this, simplify that so it's not distracting. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting looking setup here, but the feeling it'll look kind of cool. Yeah, that looks way better to be honest. Dag. Seems crazy that it would be that far back though, doesn't it? When the rest of them are not that far back at all. Well, let me see. So why don't I move it up? Now it's gonna throw everything off, but how about that? And I'll take take that.
Okay, okay. And then I want to clean that up with that one. Oop, that. Cool. There it is. I like that a lot. So anyway, I'm getting out of here. Dang it, another half hour later. Alright, well, that's uh pretty much the gist of all that. Um but anyway, I don't know if anybody's gonna rewatch this or, or whatever, but I am going to be back on chapter two uh, I think it's called the vanishing glass um, it's where the Dursleys and Harry and Piers go to the zoo and Harry talks to the boa so I'm thinking I'll have Harry kind of like in the exhibit talking with the boa and they're kind of like face to face I think that'd be kind of fun um, that'll be the image next week, uh, or this week, Wednesday, 6 p.m. Eastern, um, and I'll be back on live for that, but, um, yeah, the next couple of days off work, so I'll have time to prepare some images behind the scenes, and, um, have everything good to go on Wednesday, so, um, other than that, uh, yeah, subscribe if you're digging it, or, um, leave a comment, either on here, Instagram, whatever, if you have any ideas or questions, um, and I've got, uh, links to my tip jar and Patreon, if you want to get on on that, um, actually the Patreon is really kind of cool, I think, um, you get you get an image of the month, um, but I'm thinking of adding um, some other perks and, and tiers to it and stuff too. But that would help me out a lot, uh, and hopefully it's something that that you would think would be cool. Um, and if you have any other ideas, anyway, shoot me all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, feel free to subscribe, like, comment, whatever. But. I'll see you guys on Wednesday, hopefully. Hopefully you're around. <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you guys Wednesday. Thanks.